Now we're going to cover something that's fairly interesting and um, quite powerful if used the right way. Um, a lot of people I think have struggled with ripple strips in Bobstrap Builder. Um, they tend to either split this polygon or add another one on the side there and colour it as a, a ripple strip when they need it and back to grass when they don't need it. The problem is if you want to put a few points into your the shape of your ripple strip that's going to flow through your grass as well and it's um, not really an effective way of using polygons. So I'm going to show you what is an alternative method that I think works a lot better and um, we'll probably see a lot more people using this for all sorts of interesting things um, after this demonstration. Um, I'm just going to move up to the edge here and what we're going to do first is create a copy of our track. You s need to start using this button a little bit more for some interesting uh, designs. So we do that and I'll just rename this Ripple Strip and uh, that's made a complete copy of the track. We'll go to that material now and we'll change it to a ripple strip. Um, we'll also go to the shape and remove a number of these points and we'll grab this and start forming it into a, the shape that we want for a ripple strip. Oops. So there we've got just a basic sort of setting and if we duck underneath the track and look up it's just poking through, that's um, all you really need. Um, you really got to do this as a, a last um, process on your track because if you do make any changes to this track which is your main surface um, such as moving nodes around or changing the shape um, the ripple strips track um, is no way linked to it and um, so you'll need to repeat the whole process. Um, fortunately once you've done it a couple of times you'll find it very simple. So we've got the uh, material um, placed all the way around the track uh, which isn't quite what we want. And before we do anything else I'll just add a little bit more density um, to it so they're a little bit smoother than the, the track itself. Um, I think it's important on these sharp, smaller objects to have a few more polygons in there. Now we're going to... I'll switch to the Materials tab again and we're going to place surfaces all the way around the track where the ripple strips are to start and end. So I'll add one there, one there. I'm just going to do this very roughly because you can refine it later. This is purposely going to be a little bit uh, trickier um, but I'll get to that in a moment. Now what we need to do is set the material for each each of these surface modifiers that we've just created. So we just go around and do that for all of them. So that's effectively saying that um, we want the material uh, to be applied from this point onwards um, regardless of what the previous surface was um, telling it to do. Now what we need to do is remove the material from these edge pieces. So all we do is click the minus key and you'll see that it's now missing for, for that section behind us. And uh, repeat that for the other parts. there we have it, um, it's ripple strips just on four corners. But we're not finished yet. If I remove this and scroll down, you can see that I'm, well, maybe not quite happy with the position of that, so we can um, go through back into the surfaces, and at this stage, 
um, the only one setting a shape is the very first one so we can edit all of these ripple strips just by grabbing that and just moving it across putting it where you want now the next part um, I'm happy with the materials, the placement of these things. We can move them around a little bit if you want it to do that. Um, you can go into the materials and go into the advanced settings here and set the ripples to be um, more bunched up. And that's just affecting the one corner now because uh, we're telling it to set the material for here. So if we were to look over the other side, um, we'll see that it's still fairly widely spaced. Um, so you can add variety in that that way. But the uh, more important thing we need to do is start setting the shape. I'm going to go around to each of the surfaces now and set the shape. You may have noticed that at the moment the ends of the ripple strips are just wide open gaps. Uh, that's already setting the shape and set the shape there. Um, so now to to shut down these ends so that it, we haven't got a big gaping hole there um, what we're going to do is add more surfaces this time I'll zoom in and I'll just do it on this one corner rather than all of them it'll be a very similar process um, so we do that and tell it to set the shape another one set the shape so that's placed four surfaces one there one a little bit further up and then one around there and one on the end. Each of them is um, setting the shape. But what we're going to do is flow back to this one here and make sure we've got the move and we just pull that down. And you can fine tune it so that that matches up nice and neatly there. But um, you'll see that we're now rendering and, and smoothly going from this flat shape into the next shape. I should actually make sure these are below the surface if possible. And um, so you get a, a very nice ripple strip coming out of that. Um, again, up the other end, um, you want to move up here. We leave that one set high move to the very end one and pull that shape right down so that it now blends into the surface and you can adjust how much blending occurs there um, or how sharply it drops off um, probably a little bit too much under um, so you can just pull those up a bit Um, I think we're at a funny angle here too. Um, so you've got the concept. Now, the last thing I'll show you is how you can start to move things around a little bit so that you can add a bit of um, style or shape and don't think make things look um, so organised and perfect all the time. Just um, shuffle them around. Um, stretch that out and change the, the shape a bit more um, to the inside corner and flatten it um, so you can actually have that ripple ship ripple strip change its shape over the distance um, and also grab them and move them in and out um, and there you have it quite a bit of uh, power gone into making those and it's fairly effort effortless um, I better stop talking now, and um, good luck with that.